Hi, this is Shane Anderson here. We're just going to run you through some of the new features in uh, PDR Quote 4.2. Now, this is available for the iPhone device and also for the iPad device, even though it runs as an iPhone application. But uh, this will run on an iPad. Just make sure that you have your device upgraded to the latest software, which at the moment is 4.2. This should be available around about Christmas time or early in the new year. It has been submitted, so we're just waiting for review. So, okay, so we're at the front screen here. Now we know this uh, from previous versions. This is identical to what we usually have. I'm not going to run through some of the features that, uh, all of the features that are on the phone. Obviously, uh, if you, we've got other video tutorials there, have a look at those and you can run you through some of the basic things on how to do a quote and how to do an invoice, etc. I'm just gonna show you some of the new products, uh, the new features involved in this version. Okay, so we come to our normal customer screen. All this is set up the same way. The only difference really is when you come over to car details, you'll see two new fields down the bottom. We have manufacture date, the car, the date, uh, the date the car was manufactured. Uh, you can scroll through this list, set this to the month and to the year, and uh, and then set that. And also the transmission type down the bottom and it's automatically set to manual you can just click this and switch it to automatic whatever you want to do okay um, the other upgrade in this section is into the vehicles list now we have the vehicle database as per normal where you can scroll through you get a let's say a Ford and it'll bring up all your Ford models and then you choose your type we've expanded this a little bit to include a few more different versions of models um, the only thing that is new here is that we are now allowing you to update this list by yourself. You hit this little button down the bottom and it asks you, you're about to modify the car database. Do you want to continue? If you do, then hit continue and you'll come across into your car database. Now you can either choose a car and put a new model in here by pressing edit up here and choosing a model or if you have a make and a model, you just hit this little plus button, you put your new make, new, new model down. Let's do it here. We'll call this A1, so it's up the top. And we'll put a model in of, let's say, topper. Okay, and then when I hit done and save, now I can see A1 is here. And when I come back to this list, when I scroll up to the A's, here's A1 and here's topper. So if I save that, that would be our new a1 top of minivan. So very simple, and that will save to a hard database in your phone, so that will be there for the next time you open your program. Okay, so registration, all this is identical to the way it was, uh, so I won't go through any of those details. Your insurance company details, uh, come into your company details as per normal. Very easy, just edit it and add a company. If you wanna add State Farm, any other ones that are in there, just, just click that and add those to it and then they'll be there for the next time you open the machine. You only have to do that basically once, just set it up to the way you want. The reason I've got these Australian insurance companies is obviously because of the XML uh, Arnie system that this program can do as an added extra for Australian New Zealand techs. We put those insurance companies in there because they have a little bit of they actually have to work behind the scenes. So I, I pre-set those fields. All the rest of them you can do by yourself because they're pretty straightforward. Claim number, all this is identical. Okay, so basically we come into our repair side of things. Now, this is look identical to what you were before. You come in here to guard, door, 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 quarter, et cetera, et cetera. Choose one of three predetermined fields. You can set these in your settings, as you know or you can actually just hit the button and, and type your own price in. Very simple, very quick. What this extra detail is, is if we come across into extra detail, we can come into the, let's say the guard, the left hand guard panel. Obviously you can change those names, Defender or whatever, go through to additional settings, change all these, and the whole machine will update to whatever nationality or localization that you wanna achieve. You can also set these four buttons. Now these buttons are customizable. You can go into additional settings, change the names of these buttons. At the moment, we've got them set up as push to paint, supplement, panel on report, or conventional repair. Set that to whatever you want. 
or even type your own field in here for this panel. For this uh, panel, let's say there's chip marks on the front. You could write that in there, no problem. Let's choose supplement just to see how we go here. Now you can see the supplement is associated with the guard. We can do that to all these side panels. And of course, we could go into the right hand side and top panels and do identical. So let's go to the rear door and call that a push to paint. Okay, now that will come up on the quote. Uh, and you'll, you'll be obviously it'll be in red so it'll be very noticeable to the uh, customer when you're doing the estimate now another thing that we've added here which is which is a major improvement which which was the reason why this update probably took so long is we wanted to create a dent matrix for the American North American techs and uh, Canadian techs etc now as you can see on the phone we, we do lack a little bit of real estate here so what I've done is basically you turn the machine, once you're in this, like you can come into the left or right hand side, you won't do it here, just choose a panel that you're coming into and then turn the machine to the left or right. And as soon as the, t the machine is tilted, we get this new screen appear, which is your dent matrix. Now, basically the way this works is you've got all your panels down the left hand side, obviously these will be whatever you have called them. So left front guard, maybe left front fender, or it, whether in, you're in um, Germany or wherever you may be, you can change that to whatever language you like. Now, basically it works like this. One to five dents, six to 15, 16 to 30, 31 to 50. If you hit the more tab, we go to 51, etc. Different size, uh, the amount of damage is at the top here. The size of the damage is here. So we've got dime, nickel, quarter and half, and then obviously the associated field. So if we come to one to five dime size dents on the guard, that is $75. So we just touch that 75 radio button and you can see the 75 appear here. If we, we don't like that, you can just easily hit clear. Or if you did have 75, you can override it by hitting the next button. Now you can scroll through here, go left hand door, 6 to 15, bang, and it's very quickly, once you get the hang of it, 16 to 30 dance at quarter size for the can rail, bang, and you just scroll all your way down through the panels and, and get all your, your, um, your repairs in here. So obviously as we come through, we want to be able to capture these, so once the machine is tilted back to, now just before I leave this page, sorry, all of these are customizable as well. All of the prices, I will show you this a little bit later on. Sizes and the amount of damage, everything's customizable here, so you can change it to whatever you want. Obviously, in Australia and New Zealand, we're going to have uh, different coin sizes and maybe even different amount sizes. You, you can customize this, it's pretty much uh, set up as a structure for you, and then uh, you can do what you want. Okay, so once we turn it back onto its normal side, now we can see all of these panels have been associated with whatever prices we chose with the uh, dent matrix. So um, very simple, finish that off real quick. We come into finish quote and we have the, the quote prices. The dealer percentage has been raised. I had that at around about 20%, I think. I've upgraded it all the way to 50%. Uh, a few people asked me to upgrade that, so that's been also upgraded. So um, let's put it at 20%. So yeah, you could have 30%, 40%, whatever you want there now. It's all the way up to 50. All of this recalculates as per your taxing codes. Coming to here, we have all our customer details, da 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 da, and all the information. It won't show on this page the one to five, but when we save it and come into a documents folder, Okay, and then we can see here that we have the left front door, one to five quarter size dents at $100. Uh, so that all shows up. Now, one other thing that you'll notice here on this PDF document is that we've changed the way it, it is structured. So it used to be that we used to have them all uh, in two rows. Now we have them all individuals, everything's on its own individual line. That'll allow us to customize it even further down the track and bring in additional fields. If this gets to, obviously, the bottom here, uh, let's show you. I'll bring up a big quote. So, okay, so this is a big quote here. We can see that we have a few R&Rs and then a lot of repairs coming down through here. 
Now this one here, it says continue it over page. The page is found underneath it and you will have your disclaimer or whatever you may be and then there's your final, your prices down the bottom all worked out all nicely. So we can go into multiple pages now. So that is one document and it'll, it'll flow into two, three, five, ten pages if necessary. Okay, so um, all right, so that's the dent matrix. Now let's just whip you over here to additional setup and I'll just show you real quickly how to set that up. You can see a new button here, dent matrix, just tap on this. We can come into the prices, the prices for the left guard, one to five, they're the prices, six to 15, they're the prices. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Come down and set it to whatever you want. Now you'll have to do that for each panel. Now we have a standardized state farm dent matrix numbers set up in there. So um, if you want something different, you will have to set it out to whichever way you want. And then you can come down and set those to whatever you please. Sizes, very simple as well. Dime, nickel, quarter, half. Come over to here. The original label was dime. Current label is dime. Change to whatever you want. Okay. And count labels. 1 to 5, 6 to 15, etc. Same deal. Original label was 6 to 15. Current label was 6 to 15. Change to whatever you please. Now, while we're in the additional setup here too, there's a new button here called Disclaimer. Now, you can come into here and just hit Edit and tap the screen and type whatever you want. Let's say, thank you for your custom. Okay. And then when you hit done, then obviously this will show up on your invoice. So let's save the quote again. And then when we come back to here, what one was it? I think it was this one. Here we go. Thank you for your custom comes up on the estimate. Okay. So now you could change that. It doesn't necessarily need to be a disclaimer. You could possibly have your bank account details for uh, electronic transfers, a note to the customer, whatever you may want to do there. Now, um, okay, next part while we're on this screen is that you'll see that this has changed a little bit. We used to have two buttons here, email and index. Okay, now this is your email button still. So you, we hit this and it comes up, it attaches however many pages are attached to the PDF and sends it off works the same way as we usually did, okay? I won't show you that here. The index button is this one over here. So if we hit this, off that goes, and we can uh, change that to whatever we want and choose another one, okay? And the other button that you haven't seen before is this one. Now what that does is it searches for a printer on your local network. Now it will automatically choose whatever printers you have here. So let's say, uh, Let's say this color laser printer, print all pages, one copy. We can choose however many copies we want, double sided. I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm gonna hit print. Now it will send it to the printer. That's my printer function working over the top of my screen. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Sorry. And okay, so that's been printed off. So uh, in the background there, that is that is printed out to a local printer on the thing. Now that has come directly from the phone and obviously it's through the network. Okay, we'll just go quickly back to additional setups again. Uh, there's a couple of extra features in this one. We just need to come into logo and watermarks. Now we've seen how we add a logo to our program before. You choose a photo from your photos list, I'll scroll through here. Okay, let's choose my company logo. And okay, so that's a logo that will be chosen to be on the quote. Let's save that and show. Okay, so now we've got that logo. I chose the wrong image there, but you get the, the, the idea. The logo will now show up on, on the estimate. Now, a lot of people have asked me and said, look, my company name's a little bit too long and it comes across here and I haven't been able to um, put the logo in place because it overlaps. Very difficult to get around. So what I sort of thought to myself, okay, well, what we'll do is we've now come into here. Now, the add watermark feature that we usually have, 
we've actually expanded that a little bit to put a custom one in. Now you can choose, let's say your logo from here and it will show up behind, let's choose that logo again. Now here it comes, now this is my logo. Now the transparency level, the alpha level is set at 0 0.15. That gives me a good, uh, it's good for printing, it doesn't show too high. Look, if it doesn't suit you, just simply slide this alpha level to whatever you want. You can set it as a full transparency. I'm not sure why you would do that, but you can if you please, or set it lighter or whatever you may. Let's leave it at about 1.5. Uh, yeah, just for this demonstration. Now, we've chosen that. Now, let's come back to print the quote. Now, this time when I print the quote, we'll find it here. Now I can see my logo is transparent, it is classed as a watermark feature in behind the estimate. Now that will show on every page. So that's a good way to show your uh, logo just in case you couldn't fit it up the top or you might want both or you might want your own custom car. I'll let you play around with that and you can um, suit your documents to as you please. So obviously all these little labels are all now customizable, insurance, you can set that to any, uh, any sort of fields that you want. And uh, yeah, so we've got the customizable watermarks and disclaimers and the new dent matrix and a few new dent fields and we can print. Now the only other thing that I need to show you is pretty cool is we've got current documents. That is the current PDF documents that we have saved and are ready for printing. Okay, so we come in here. It shows us whether it's a tax invoice or a quote. That's new. And it will tell us when uh, the... the uh, document was formed so December 11th blah 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 and who the customer is and their invoice number or quotation number obviously when we open that up then we have this is one here that we did we pushed a repaint and panel on the port so um, we have all the information there and you can send that out or print them or email them whatever you need to do the other button here is search database now what that does is this is for an estimate or an invoice that you have done, let's say last month, and you want to recall that quote to uh, then turn it into an invoice. Before we had to redo the whole thing, now we don't, we just pop into here. Now we have our customers ascensioned off and all of their jobs are underneath. Now that's the invoice number, the car type, whether it's a quote, when it was done and the registration number. Now you can search through all your customer types or you can actually do a search up the top. Now once I hit this search bar, I can search for the name of the customer. Let's try Shane. As soon as I hit SHA, there we go. So as my name comes up, okay, so the search narrowed and I can hit that button and reload the quote. Now I hit that button, I double click the screen like we did before. This document has been reloaded. So now all of the fields in PDR quote are back to square one. So if I come back here and do a finished quote, all of this, this is the, the quotation that we just reloaded. Now because it's a quote, I just double tap the screen once and go back to main menu. I can change that to an invoice very quickly. Okay, so now that is now an invoice. So that quotation is right to go. If I need to make any changes, obviously, I can come through, make the changes, come through here and add an extra panel and make the changes. And then when I finish it off, we're done. I save it. It's a new document. Okay, so it's searched the database. You can come into here, search via this search screen, name, type, so that's quote or invoice, invoice number, you can search via the invoice number or the registration number, which is... Let's say TTT, and we hit Rego, and there we go. There's where there's a car with registration number TTT seven seven seven. Okay, so I can just press that, bring it up again, double tap the screen, and reload that quote back into the program. All right. So all of your estimates that you've done up to before this update of four point two will not show on this, okay? This is a whole new database system that is sitting in behind the program. So I suggest save them, uh, do whatever you gotta do. Basically those PDF documents will be able to, you'll be able to find them in your, in your folder, no problem.
but they won't show in this database system. Only quotes. Once you've done this uh, update, then from now on, everything will go into here. Now, I've expanded the database fields dramatically to include technicians and all sorts of stuff. These will be future updates. They're not available at this time. The main thing was, was to try and get this up and running before Christmas for you guys so that you can uh, reload some quotes and get this dent matrix happening. And then we will expand on this as we go. All right. That's about it. I'll... Um any questions, just jump on the website and email me and uh, we'll get them sorted.